Hi ladies, uh, it's Coach Scott here. Uh, it's, it's fourth uh, video coming up, take action video. Love doing these videos. Uh, so we're gonna take you out. Those who have been doing it, you know, you know what's all about. Those who are just starting off, uh, you're gonna you're gonna love these videos. All right. So we're gonna take you through a bunch of different exercises. Different trainers are highlighted. Uh, I'm gonna be focusing on upper body today. Gonna do a little bit of everything: chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps. A uh, little bit of cardio, although I don't love cardio, but you have to do it. And a little bit of core. Right? Uh, like, like I said, love doing these videos. Love being, uh, you know, motivating people to keep going. Those who are just starting, again, you know, baby steps. You know, we're gonna get through this. If you don't get all the way through this, no big deal. Don't beat yourself up. It's like you're getting back on the bike again and you're just starting to ride again, right? So sometimes you don't do, you do the whole bike ride in the first one. Second time you hit that bike ride and you're gonna kill it. So that's what we're here for. We're gonna keep you moving, keep you motivated. Let's get ready to rock. All right, warm up time, ladies. Let's get that blood moving. Let's get the muscles all going and just the body warmed up. So let's just start off easy. Little high kicks, butt kicks. We're gonna slowly pick it up as we go. Okay. Good, a little faster now. Up, kick, kick, kick. Good. Kick. So we're doing upper body. We're gonna just get, get the legs going. A little toe taps. Move around with toe taps. Good, 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 good. And we're gonna use some shoulders, we're gonna do some back today, triceps, biceps, the whole bit. So let's start with small little circles, forward, and we're gonna gradually get them, let them get bigger. Good, nice big ones now, nice big ones. Good, and slowly the other way. Now from big to small. Good, big, slowly get smaller, smaller, and move, 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 move. good. So let's open up that chest a bit. We're gonna do some chest with some fries. Open it up. Heel jumps, you call them. Good. Let's like that. Good. And then one of my favorites, high knee reach. So we're reaching up and driving that knee up. Push it up towards the ceiling. Again, get the shoulders activated. Good. Beautiful. Now let's get some legs involved. Some squats. Okay. Good. Now we're getting the warm up, lower body warmed up. Good. That's it. Good. And right, shuffle punch it. Little shuffle. We're gonna see this movement later. Shuffle punch, good. Good. Good, what about the core? Let's get some core in. So, down on the ground, let's do mountain climbers. Drive the knees in, all the way to the, underneath your chest. Squeezing on that core. Good. I love it. Floor jacks. And here we go. Good, so now your body should be feeling nice and warm. It's okay if you're feeling a little bit of a sweat start. Good, and core rotation. Twist, open it up. Good. Open it up. Good. Almost there, ladies, good. One more each, and good. We'll be right back with a new video. First segment, let's rock. All right, welcome back, ladies. So we're gonna go in a quick demo of what we're gonna work out on uh, today. So the first part, we're gonna focus on our back and a little bit of legs. All right, we're gonna do double sets called split row. Here's Paul with me today, so he's gonna help me with the demo. So, so we wanna get into a nice split like this. You notice how he has a nice little split. Uh, back heel is up, front leg is forward. You have the opposite arm is holding the weight, doing the work. He's gonna have it just slightly uh, behind his knee and he's gonna pull up towards his rib cage or his armpit. When he comes up to the part, it's very important that you're squeezing because you wanna activate this muscle here, the latissimus dorsi. All right, and you wanna keep that elbow in and squeeze. Again, remember in before, we talked about tempo training. So you want to come up, but slow on the way down. Okay, so that's exercise one, which we're going to do twice at a 30 second interval. Double set, 10 second rest, and we'll do it again. Same arm, same leg. Then we're going to go into the uh, upper body, Arnold presses. Okay, we're going to alternate. So, he's going to round out. This is really good for the delts, rear delts, front delts, side delts, all the shoulder. And he's going to coming down just underneath his chin and switching arms, right? Just a nice little round, uh, round off here so we hit that back of the shoulder. And then obviously we're going to do the other side. Good. And like I said before, you're going to use the cadence all the way down nice and slow. It's got a nice little straight back and arch uh, back right there. And that's our first set. All right, here we go. This is our first uh, segment here. Back first, split squat, just like we were explaining in the demo. Then we get into our presses. Come on, right hand man with me, Paul. Get right to it. Here we go. So, again, best thing to do, get nice good splits, like we said, get that heel up. Gonna grab our weight, 
slightly above the knee. Get the arch to the back, nice and flat. Here we go, in two, one, and go. Up, squeeze, good. Up, squeeze, squeeze. And you're just really focusing on that squeeze you want to feel in your lats. Your latissimus dorsi, keep that elbow in. Squeezing that back at the top. Again, remember the cadence training that we talked about? You want to go nice and slow on the way down. Good, feel nice. A little squeeze at the top and the back, a little bit of burn in the legs. Yeah, almost there. Good, good, good. Set, good. We're gonna do double set, right? Double set, same arm. This second set. Yeah, same arm. This now you should start to feel it. Good. Here we go. And up. Breathe in. Blow out. In. Up. In. Up. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Squeeze, down. See, now I'm starting to feel it in the other leg a little bit as well as my back. Good. Good. Good, 10 seconds. Squeeze, really get that squeeze in. Squeeze. Squeeze, the elbow staying in tight to the body. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good, all right, let's do a little bit of shoulder. So grab your second dumbbell. There you go. Shoulder width. Keep your shoulder width. I'm gonna hold it up. Just a blow the nose. And one at a time, we're gonna press. Round it, other one. Round it, up. Round it, up. Yeah, this is good for the whole shoulder. But the round part's going to hit that rear delt. Good, couple halfway. Good. Good, now these are called auto presses. After the movie star slash bodybuilder, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Paul, you remember him, don't you? Good, rest. We're gonna do that again. Yeah. Paul, Paul taught uh, Arnold everything he knows. Everything. Here we go. Another round. Same thing. Up. Press. Up. Press. Up. Press. Beautiful. Press. We're gonna blow out on the top. Breathe in. Good. Keep your core tight and get an extra ab workout. Right. Ten seconds. Good. That's it. Good. Good. Beautiful. How you feeling the burn yet, buddy? Yeah. Good. All right. We're going to do the other side now of that split row. Okay. So again, nice wide splits. Back heels up. Nice big chest. And roll. Squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. Good. This is really good for working on the back fat. All right. Getting everything tight behind there. Also good to hit your arms, secondary muscle. Yeah, oh, and the glutes in the split spot. I can feel that too. That's it, good. good. One more, ladies, one more. Yep, then we're gonna get into some shoulders. Or chest, chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, oh, we, we got the cardio for later. Try to sneak some cardio in on me. Everybody knows how I feel about cardio. Good, squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, there we go. Squeeze, how you feeling, big guy? Oh, yeah. You're going to be uneven. <laughs> ah, that's okay. <laughs> I'm almost there, ladies. Good. Good. That's it, good job. Good. Next demo coming up, gonna show you what we're gonna do next. Awesome job. Great work in the last session. This session we're gonna focus on chest and biceps, okay? So Paul's here gonna be in a lying down on his back. We're gonna do a chest flies, okay? So he's gonna go nice and wide, keeping the arms parallel with the shoulders as he brings it in. He's squeezing the, the pecs together. Okay, you can have a slight bend in the elbows, keeping his core nice and tight, coming up and you're squeezing. You wanna feel the contrast, the chest expand as he comes down. Good, so we're gonna do that for a double set of 30 seconds, 30, 10, 30, 10, and then we're gonna get up and work the bicep. So we're gonna do alternate uh, curls. So palms up all the way, right to the end we rotate. Okay, arm um, rotate. Very important, you keep your shoulders back, you got your core nice and tight, so you're activating the core as well, and curl, and we're gonna do that for two sets of 30 seconds. And then as we finish, we go back down to the flies again, as, as you uh, have seen before. Okay, and again, you can have that slight elbow bend and just concentrate on that squeeze in the chest, okay, when you bring it in. And that's it.
Good, now we're back. So now we're going to focus on the chest and the biceps, one of my favorites, chest and biceps. So we're gonna start with chest flies, same format. Double sets for 30 seconds with a 10 second rest, and then we're gonna get up and do some alternate curls. And we'll finish off with the same chest flies. Ready, ladies? Let's grab our dumbbells, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna lay on our back, you're gonna have your knees up, feet flat. I wanna see a nice little elbow bend in the, a uh, little bend in the elbow joint. Okay, three, two, one, and begin. Good, nice wingspan. Squeeze the chest together as you bring it in. I blow out on the way up. I breathe in through the nose on the way down. Yeah. That's it. This is Paul Mirror's one of her favorites. She loves working the chest. Jennifer loves working the biceps. Oh yeah. Good. Ladies, this will really increase your upper body strength. These exercises that we've been doing, the back one that we did earlier, and the chest plays on this one. Four seconds. And good, rest. Yeah. Beautiful, so yeah, you just wanna keep that nice wingspan, slight bend in the elbows, feel the chest separate as you retract it, and squeeze it together. Here we go. Two, one, and go. Three. Three. How's those chest, how's your chest, ladies? That's it. I gotta make sure they're still with us. Yeah. Couple seconds, and rest, beautiful. Okay, let's quickly transition, we're gonna stand up. Now we're doing Jennifer's favorite, bicep curls, we're gonna do all 10, ready? So three, two, one, and one up, other one down, up, down, up, down. And you still wanna keep your core tight, Try not let the body shift too much. Okay, We're still breathing. All right, working the bicep muscle. Halfway. Good. That's it. Good. Ten seconds now. Beautiful. How you doing, Palmer? Beautiful. Two, one, and rest. Good. Yeah. Okay. One more round, and then hit the ground again. Five, four. Three, two, and again. Up. And then squeeze it too. Squeeze it at the top. Squeeze that butt. Squeeze. 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 Remember with strength, it's not a race. The slower the goal you go, the more you're gonna feel it. Some people like to rush through it just to get it over. Take my time. Yeah, 10 seconds. Yeah. How you doing, Jennifer? Yes. Couple seconds. Beautiful, let's finish the chest off. Let's hit that ground one more time. Same technique, same everything, right? Couple seconds, we're gonna start with the dumbbells up front. Two, one, and go. Open it up, squeeze it together. Open it up, squeeze it together. And it's really important that you kind of connect the mind to the muscle. So you wanna feel that chest expand and contract. Expand and contract, just over halfway. Good. All right, Palmieri, are you feeling the expand and contract? Good, four seconds. And rest, good. One more, ladies. Yes. I do this every morning. Almost every morning. Okay, ready? One more time, two, one, and go. Nice and wide, sweet. Please. So these are all little simple exercises that you can do at home. As long as you have a pair of dumbbells, you don't need a bench necessarily. Right, you can still get a good workout at home. Halfway now. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. Almost there. In. Out. Last five seconds. In. Out. One more. Squeeze it in. Feel it in there. Good. That's it. Perfect. That's it, ladies. Grab a quick water, ladies, at home. We're gonna come back with another workout. Yeah, welcome back again. So now, this uh, segment, we're gonna focus on our shoulders and our triceps, okay? So we're gonna start with shoulders first. Front raises, okay? Nice tight core again. We're going to just bring it up in front of us. A little bit of a squeeze at the top. You just wanna go a slight here above the shoulders. And again, control it on the way down, keeping our core uh, nice and tight. Good. 
Then our second exercise, and we're still doing that double set of 30 seconds and 10. Okay, second one is our skull crushers. You're gonna have the elbows pointing to the ceiling. You're gonna lower it just slightly behind the head, coming up and squeezing your thigh, your tricep, okay? Squeezing your tricep. Keeping those elbows pointed forward, up into the ceiling, and coming up. Good, so we'll do a double set of that as well at 30 seconds. And now we're gonna go to another shoulder exercise. You might wanna go lighter, because these are a little harder to go side raises. Nice tight core, and we're gonna raise it up to the side. And again, notice how Paul is just bringing up just the hairline above the shoulders, controlling it on the way down. Nice tight core. Perfect. So that's coming up next. And we're back. So we're going to finish off with a little bit of shoulder work and some tricep work, okay? Three different exercises, same format. We do double set. We're going to do front raises to really shred up those shoulders. Then we're going to get down and work on the triceps, skull crushers. And then we're going to get back up and do side raises, okay? So let's grab our dumbbells and we will start. Okay. Three. Two, one, and And when you're raising it, you just want to come a hairline above the shoulders, keeping your core engaged. And remember, if it's too heavy of the weights, you find yourself, you're rocking your body, it's okay to go a little lighter. So, how are you girls feeling? Palmyra loves this workout here. Really gets her shoulders shredded. A couple seconds left. Two, one, and go. Two, three, right. Hold those shoulders back. We're going to go one more time. Okay, see how Jennifer has the one? You can also do one if you find it a little bit difficult. Okay, here we go. Oh, good. Again, keep that core engaged. Anytime you're doing a standing exercise, we keep that core engaged as a bonus workout. Get a little abs in there, too. I can listen to you, Anavis. We'll grab a little light up there. A couple seconds. Good, all right. So now we're going to work on our triceps. Okay, so lay on your back. You're going to grab the dumbbell right in front of your chest. And all you're going to do is lower it to your forehead and press. Okay, here we go. And press. Down right to the forehead. These are called skull crushers. So you want to come down to the forehead. That's why they're called skull crushers. Elbows are pointing forward. Good, halfway. And blow out on the way up. In on the way down, out on the way up. Good, a couple seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Now more advanced, you can do a little pump like this. Let's really get the triceps going. Good, if you don't want that rest. Good, and again, here we go. Right down to the forehead, press. Press. Good. Press. How are you feeling, Jennifer? That's it. Oh, I'm feeling awesome. I almost feel like a triple set. What do you think, Palmer? Yeah? Oh, I don't know. Come on. I'll overdo it. Five seconds. Two. One, perfect. Okay, let's get on up. So, this could be a little bit difficult if you have a lighter pair. Go for it, or you can do one arm at a time. Okay, so again, we're gonna stand nice and tall. Engage the core, and we lift out to the side now. Okay, so straight out to the side. Keep that arm as straight as possible. Good. You can really feel it if you're slow on the, on the descent. On the descent. Okay, so as you descend, you can slow it down a bit. Halfway. Woo! This is very, how are you, how are you girls feeling? Oh yeah, we got to slip that on this one. Rest, okay, woo! We lift some dumbbells though. Okay, second set, right? So this is a really good one to get that little cut in that shoulder, right? Here we go, yeah, and up. What's up, Palmer? You still got energy to talk? <laughs> It is. We are? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I'm good for it too. Watch this one, ladies. Five seconds. Yeah. Okay, rest. Oh, triple sets. The ladies want triple sets. We gotta give it to them. So we're gonna do one more, a little sneak one for you. Couple seconds. 
And go. And up. Keep going. And up. Keep going. And up. Now, keep going, ladies. And up. So, you want to see how they're doing it? You can raise it up to the side. Right, look at these shoulders. Nice and shredded. Right, might be a little bit too heavy for most Paul Eric because he's moving the body. Good. How are you doing, Jennifer? See? Here's your other option. You do one at a time. 10 seconds left. Oh, let me finish off with you, ladies. Woo! Three, two, one. That's it. Grab a quick uh, water. We're going to finish off a little abs and cardio. You got to use your header. Don't let them trick you. Yeah, here's the second last segment, ladies. A little bit of core. We've got to get that core going for the summer, right? So we're going to do two exercises. Same format. Double set, right? First one's double crunches. So you're going to come in. Gently pull up on the head as you pull the shoulders in, squeezing, and you're bringing your knees in, tucking into a ball. When you're bringing it in, you want to squeeze on that core. As I release the legs, you want to breathe out. Knees in, breathe in, okay? So that's number one. Next one's flutter kick. So you can put your hands underneath your butt just to assist you a little bit and take the pressure off the back. Little chops like that. Again, you can really get the core going by holding the shoulders up. Again, and flexing the core, right? And then we'll just do double set of that and double set of that, and that's it. A little bit of core action for you. Yeah, how you like that? Oh, I love that. Yeah, you love that. <laughs> and we're back, ladies. One last little section for you. So I like to finish off the workout. We just did the weights. We hit the upper body. We got it nice and pumped, right? So we're going to finish it off. This is a great way to increase your metabolism. So once you've done your workout, your metabolism is still burning at a higher rate, right? So you burn more calories. So here's what we're going to do. Let's have it up. First one is work on those abs. We're going to do two exercises, double set. 2010, 2010, another core exercise, 2010, 2010. And then we're going to get up and do a little bit of cardio, okay? So, you girls, you ready? Let's get down on the ground. We're going to do double crunches, okay? So, you can start with the shoulders up. And we're going to crunch it. I'm going to show you real quick before. And we're going to start saying, okay, ready? In three, two, one, and go. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze, right? Just get that core. It's really good not just for aesthetically, but to get your core nice and strong, right? That's the way to do these exercises. We all take for the abs, but it's good to have a strong core. Two, one, rest. Good. How's that feeling? These ladies do abs all the time. Me, not so much. Ready? Three, two, one, and in. They find this stuff really easy. Good. So how's your breathing, girls? Ooh, I feel the burn already. Three, two, one. Good. Next one, flutter kicks. Again, you put your hands underneath the bump to give you the support, and just little chops like this. Okay. And three, two, one, and chop, 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 chop. chop. Hold the shoulders up. This off the ground. Little chops. This will. I feel this more on my lower abs. Okay. Where you go? Yeah. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. That's it. One more. One more. Story. Oh, that, that one was really burning. Really burning. Okay. Ready? And go. One more. Yeah. One more. Then we're up for some cardio. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So that's it, ladies. We're almost there. Hope your abs are burning like mine at home. All this stuff you can do at home. It's perfect. Ten seconds. Good. And, oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. I tricked you. Yeah, I tricked you. Good. All right, quickly up. Yeah, I thought so too. Okay. We're going to do power jacks now, so what you're going to Come like that, all right? So start with the feet together and go. And try to get the elbows down to the knees. Very strong movement here. Now, this is going to bring your heart rate back up. This is a problem. Up on the top. Five, four, three, two, yes, get it. Huh? Love it, love it. How about you? What are you going to do? Okay, let's go. Oh, look at it. I'm gonna get a little fancy with it. Here. Yeah. That already feels always option. We always give option. Not everybody's at the same level, right? 
corner and rest. That's okay. That's it. So now we're gonna finish off with high shuffle two, low shuffle two. Okay, two more sets. Ready? And go. One, two, down, down, high, high, low, low, high, high, low, low. Okay, yeah, you got it now. Woo. Now everybody knows I love my cardio. Four, three, two, get ready. Woo. This is the last one, ladies. Let's finish strong. Right here, let's finish strong. Ready? All right, let's go two. Three, two, one, and go. High, high, low, low. High, high, low, low. That's it, ladies. Way to work today. Should feel good about yourself. Get this workout. I'm feeling good. Come here, you feeling good? How about you, Jennifer? Seven seconds. This is what you want to feel every time. Good. In three, two, one. Beautiful. Awesome job, ladies. Eh. That was fun. I hope it was fun for you as it was for me. I don't roll back. My goal is to bring my chest on the floor. You can either keep the supporting arm bent or straight. If you're going to straighten it, make sure the wrist is aligned to the shoulder because as you come forward, you're getting a beautiful stretch on the outer edge of your shoulder. So I'm going to bring my left arm across and if this is giving me a stretch, it's all at the back of my arm and a little bit in my chest too. So I'm going to bring that left leg back and I'm gonna, once I can't take it any back or any further, I'm gonna start to drop my heel onto the ground. So now what I'm targeting is from my armpit all the way down to my hip and down my leg. So where I mostly feel this though is right in here, on the fascias, your hip flexors, which is huge area to target in a cool down, especially after um, jump squats and jumping, um, jumping jacks, anything that um, targets it, the, the hips and the glutes. So I'm going to breathe and stay here for a few breaths. Nothing, um, nothing helps more than staying in these postures for a few breaths because you don't benefit by staying only for a little while. You want to make sure you get these stretches. You can even bring that leg a little further. You can try bending the knee. This can be done lying in your bed, anywhere. Few breaths, and then join the arm and knee back together. Then you're gonna come up and rest your head on your hand, making sure you're safe, and you're gonna bring your knee towards your armpit. It doesn't have to get here. Even if you're here, you're still getting the same stretch. And you're gonna push that knee towards your chest. breath through your stretches because it reminds you to breathe. Above anything else, we tend to hold our breath, especially if something's painful, so we want to try to breathe through that. And then you're going to extend the leg. So whether you're grabbing behind your hamstring squat, I tend to start modified first. Even for myself, I've been doing this for a long time, but still I get tight, I'm sore, I do boot camp too, so it's Grabbing your 
foot. You can even put your fingers in a peace sign, my favorite, and grab your toe. As long as your heel is lifting up towards the ceiling, you want to stretch from the Achilles tendon all the way down. Some, a lot of people do this, and that's fine, but if you're here, then you should be here, okay? Or with the strap, let me get this quickly. Like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your foot, wrap it around, grab on top of the foot, and draw that knee down. You can either stay here or push that knee towards the floor. If you want a deeper stretch, rock that knee back. So now we're focusing from your chest all the way down to the knee just by doing this simple stretch. It looks simple, but it's not. It feels, it feels really tight. And then you can change this into a further stretch by bringing your thumb towards your toe and take it back. But those are all uh, moderations or modifications if you want to go further into these postures. And then you're going to come back, you're going to flow up and switch to the other side. Switch to the other side, relax your head, bring your right arm across this time, your left leg back, and let that heel drop to the ground. Beautiful stretch. Stay here for a few breaths to make it worth it. Let your body cool down. Bring your leg back up. Grab either your hamstrings, your calves, or your foot. You can either even bring your head up if you like. And then you're going to draw that foot behind your back. Grab the foot, pull that knee down, push it, pull back, push out, push back. There's a few ones you'll know. You'll feel where you're getting the stretch. And then you can change it into a lying down dancer pose, which is a yoga pose. You grab your toe and pull that leg back. And this can also be done with this. Draw the knees back. Come back to a seated position. 